Hello. We are going to analyze top 10 strengths of Donald Trump. Business acumen. Trump has a wealth of experience in real estate and entertainment, having built a vast business empire. His portfolio includes skyscrapers, luxury hotels, golf courses, and even a reality TV show. This business background gave him a strong understanding of market dynamics, negotiation, and branding. And he leveraged these skills to position himself as a successful entrepreneur. His business ventures have faced ups and downs, but he has demonstrated resilience and adaptability. And these traits have significantly influenced his approach to politics and governance. A fan would say, he negotiated deals so big, they make skyscrapers look like Lego. He turned bankruptcies into a business strategy. And the art of the deal is his bedtime story. A super fan would say, Trump's knack for business is so sharp, even his golf courses are green with envy. Branding. Trump is a master of branding, having successfully turned his name into a global symbol of wealth and luxury. From real estate to stakes, the Trump brand is synonymous with opulence. His ability to create and maintain a strong personal brand has been instrumental in his political career. The Make America Great Again slogan became a powerful rallying cry. His presence on reality TV further cemented his public persona. This branding prowess helped him connect with a broad audience and create a loyal following. A fan would say, Hey look, Make America Great Again hats are more popular than Starbucks. A reality TV star has turned himself into a successful real-life politician. And Trump has turned his name into a global logo. A superfan would say, Trump's branding skills are so strong, he could probably sell sand in the Sahara. With every ounce of heart and might and sweat and soul, we're going to keep making America great again. And that is why tonight I stand before you to officially launch my campaign for a second term as president. Trump campaign's officially licensed Make America Great Again, or MAGA hats, are made here at the Cali Fame Headwear Factory in Carson, California, just outside of... Charisma. Trump's charisma is a key component of his appeal, allowing him to connect with large audiences effectively. His speeches are often filled with energy and directness, resonating with many voters. He has a talent for making his supporters feel heard and understood. This charisma helped him maintain a strong base throughout his political career. His presence at rallies and public events draws significant attention and enthusiasm. And despite controversies, his personal magnetism remains a defining feature. A fan would say, Trump's rally crowds are so large they need their own zip codes. His speeches can wake the dead, and he connects with voters like Wi-Fi. A superfan would say, Trump's charisma is so magnetic, a compass gets confused around him. Crowd already outside waiting to get into the venue to see President Trump later today. You are watching right here on news and now now obviously there will be an overflow crowd why because 100,000 tickets were requested they can only fill about 20,000 maybe 25 if they're lucky here but you're taking a live look 
at these aerials right now, and uh, this is Media savvy. Trump's adept use of media, especially social media, has revolutionized political communication. He has a talent for commanding media attention and setting the news agenda. His Twitter account became a primary channel for his messages, often bypassing traditional media. This direct communication style allowed him to reach millions instantly. His reality TV background honed his skills in capturing and maintaining public interest. This media savvy has kept him in the spotlight and in the public discourse. A fan would say, Trump's tweets can start a war or end one. He has truly mastered the art of the 3 a.m. tweet storm. His, his media presence is more constant than gravity. A super fan would say, Trump's media skills are so tough-notch, he could probably make a tweet trend in a library. A woman in the audience asked Trump if he'd hire veterans at that hotel. Here's how he responded. What are you looking for? What kind of a position? Come up here. Come here. She looks so smart and good. Do you mind if I do a job interview right now? We need good people. How are you? So what's your experience in front of the world? Uh, well, I design, I do wreaths, I do uh, all types of decorations. And you like this building? Yes, Okay. I do. So here's what I'm going to do. There's the man. Stand right over here. <laughs> if we can make a good deal in the salary, she's going to probably have a job, okay? All right, good. Have a good time. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Good. Thank you. So nice. Really nice. I felt good about her. I tell you what, I looked at her. I said, she, you know, I have gut instinct, okay? And we're allowed to have that. And I looked at her and she asked a question and it was a very positive question. She looks like she's got a great look and she's, look at that with the tears. How nice. She's just a good, she just seemed like a good person. Populist appeal. Trump has a strong populist appeal. Tapping into the frustrations and concerns of many Americans. He positions himself as a champion of the common person, challenging elites and the status quo. His policies often focus on issues that resonate with working class voters. He speaks in a straightforward and relatable manner that many find refreshing. This approach has built a loyal and enthusiastic supporter base. His populist message played a significant role in his electoral success. A fan could say, look, Trump's America First policies have put apple pie second. His voter base is as loyal as a golden retriever. A super fan would say, Trump's populist appeal is like pizza. Not everyone loves it, but it's got a dedicated fan base that thinks it is the greatest thing ever. Resilience. Trump's resilience is evident in his ability to withstand numerous controversies and challenges. Despite facing significant opposition and criticism, he remains a prominent political figure. His ability to recover from setbacks and maintain his base is remarkable. This resilience has been a key factor in his enduring influence. He has demonstrated a thick skin and a relentless drive. His supporters admire his ability to stand firm in the face of adversity. A fan would say, 
Hey, Trump survived impeachment like it was a minor traffic ticket. His support base sticks with him like super glue. A super fan would say, Trump's resilience is like a rubber band. No matter how much you stretch it, it just snaps back. In the last half hour, the U.S. Senate has found President Trump not guilty of abuse of power and the obstruction of Congress in his historic impeachment trial. Donald Trump had been charged with high crimes and misdemeanors by the members of the House of Representatives, but as expected, the Republican majority in the Senate cleared him, which means he will fight for re-election in November. Our North America editor John Sopel reports. Senators, how say you? Is the respondent... Donald John Trump guilty or not guilty? A process that started last September came to an end today, with senators voting one by one on the two articles of impeachment. Mr. Alexander, not guilty. Ms. Baldwin. Ms. Baldwin, guilty. And then the verdict. It is therefore ordered and adjudged that the said Donald John Trump be, and he is hereby, acquitted of the charges in said articles. Negotiation skills. Trump's background in business equipped him with formidable negotiation skills. He has a reputation for being a tough and shrewd negotiator. This skill was evident in his approach to trade deals and international agreements. He renegotiated NAFTA, resulting in the USMCA, and sought better terms for the US in various deals. His negotiation style often involves high stakes and direct tactics. These skills have been central to his domestic and foreign policy strategies. A fan would say, Trump's trade deals can make a used car salesman blush. He brought peace deals to the Middle East while everyone else was bringing headaches. A super fan would say, Trump's negotiation skills are so legendary, he could probably sell eyes to an Eskimo. I'm thrilled to speak to the American people to share truly historic news for our nation and, indeed, for the world. I want to thank Vice President Pence for joining us this morning. It's my great honor to announce that we have successfully completed negotiations on a brand-new deal to terminate and replace NAFTA and the NAFTA trade agreements with an incredible new U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement called U.S.-MCA. It sort of just works. MCA. U.S.-MCA. Policy focus. Trump's administration focused on several key policy areas, including tax cuts, deer dilation, and immigration default. He implemented significant tax cuts aimed at boosting the economy. His deregulation efforts targeted what he saw as burdensome rules hindering business. Immigration policy, particularly border security, was the central theme of his presidency. He aimed to reduce illegal immigration and strengthen national security. These policies resonated with his conservative base and business supporters. A fan would say, Trump implemented tax cuts so deep, you could plant a tree in them. His deregulation efforts make red tape seem like a distant memory. He gave immigration policies with walls taller than your average giant. A superfan could say, Trump's policy focus is so intense, even laser pointers take notes. It's a big-ticket item released just before day 100. A plan, or really an outline of a plan, for what the president says will be the biggest tax cut ever. It's a great plan. The only thing that's going to put people back to work. We talked about it over and over again during the campaign. Um, you don't mind having lower taxes, do you, anybody? The outline, rolled out today by the Treasury Secretary and the president's top economic advisor, would cut the corporate tax rate from 35% to 15%. And that new lower rate would also apply to businesses that now pay through the owner's personal taxes, companies like the Trump Organization. One, two, three. 
would also cut tax rates for individuals and simplify the system, reducing the number of tax brackets from seven to just three. It would eliminate estate taxes and double the standard deduction. So for a married couple, the first $24,000 of income would be income tax free. There would still be deductions for home mortgage interest and charitable contributions, but all other personal deductions would be eliminated. The outline was just a... Leadership Trump's leadership style is characterized by decisiveness and assertiveness. He often makes bold decisions and sticks to them, regardless of opposition. His strong stance on issues like law and order appeals to those who favor clear and firm leadership. His ability to project confidence and authority is a key aspect of his appeal. He often frames himself as a strong, no nonsense leader. And this leadership style has garnered both strong support and significant criticism. A fan would say, his decisions are so assertive, they could double as declarations. He makes law and order so strict, even crime goes on vacation and his policy positions are clearer than HDTV. A superfan would say, Trump's leadership style is so authoritative, even his hair knows not to mess with him. Not only am I the law and order candidate, but I'm also the candidate of compassion. Believe it, the candidate of compassion. But you can't have true compassion without providing safety for the citizens of our country. Every kid in America should be able to securely walk the streets in their own neighborhood without harm. Everyone will be protected equally and treated justly without prejudice. We will be tough. We will be smart. We will be fair. And we will protect all Americans. Campaign strategy. Trump's campaign strategies are unconventional, but highly effective. He utilizes a combination of rallies, social media, and direct messaging to connect with voters. His 2016 outsider campaign disrupted traditional political norms. He tapped into voter frustrations and positioned himself as a political disruptor. His strategies often involve high energy events and a constant media presence. And this approach has helped him build a loyal and motivated supporter base. A fan would say, look, Trump's outsider campaigns make insiders nervous. He taps into voter frustrations like a tech at a college party. A super fan would say, Trump's campaign strategy is like a roller coaster, full of twist sentences and is guaranteed to make you scream. That God ever created, I tell you that. The billionaire businessman Donald Trump made it official today, never shy or modest about why he's running. I don't need anybody's money. Yeah. I'm using my own money. I'm not using the lobbyists. I'm not using donors. I don't care. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. <laughs> Anyway, I don't sound like a politician because I'm not a politician. I never wanted to be a politician. I became a politician for one very specific reason, because we're doing a job in the history of our country in the first three and a half years. Nobody has done what we, what we and this administration has been able to do with regulations, with taxes, with rebuilding our military, with strengthening our borders. Hey, do you agree with this list? Do you have other ideas that are not covered here? Can you please put your comments and suggestions in the comment section? Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.